Good morning. Welcome to day 26 of our 40 days of prayer. God's word speaks to us about love from 1 Corinthians 13, 5. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. The question to us, what does it mean that love keeps no record of wrongs? The idea of keeping no list of wrong directly connects with Paul's words here in Corinthians to our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ provided the ultimate example of this type of love. On the cross, he paid the price for the sins of the entire world. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. We find these words in Romans 5, 8. Jesus kept no record of wrongs. Rather, from the cross as he died, he prayed, Father, forgive them. Also, our Lord ties forgiveness to love. Forgive whatever grievance you may have against one another. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues, put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Refusing to keep a record of wrongs is a clear expression of God's love and forgiveness. So often people say, that we love one another, but as soon as one gets angry, out comes the list of past sins, accusations fly, painful memories are dug up, and bygones are no longer bygones. This is not love. True godly love forgives and refuse to keep track of personal slights received. The focus of love is not one's own pain, but the need of the loved one. Obviously, we should not allow people to continue to hurt or abuse us or others. That's not what 1 Corinthians 13 is teaching. The goal is to have a spirit of reconciliation to forgive those who seek forgiveness, letting the past stay in the past. Some people have an ax to grind, but Christ's love seeks to bury the hatchet. Love keeps no record of wrongs, for we forgive as Christ has forgiven us. When Peter asked Jesus, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to seven times? Jesus answered, I'll tell you, not seven times, but 77 times. Matthew 18, 21 through 22. That is love. Let's pray. Father God, we come to you. Thanking you, Lord Jesus, for this another day that you have graced us with, with your grace and mercy. Father God, I pray for each and every one that's under the sound of my voice right now. Father God, guide us, direct us in the way that you will have us to go. Lord God, give us that forgiving heart, Father God. Give us the spirit to love as you love, Father God. We thank you, Father God. For this day, Father God, we just ask you to be with us, guide us, direct us in the way that you would have us to go. Most of all, Father God, just as you have forgiven us, Father God, we forgive the ones who have hurt us, Father God. These are our prayers. In your Son, Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Be blessed in the Lord today. Thank you.